The Bay Prince production, music and script, was written by myself, Samantha Jabba. Student number 29026734. The closing music was written by Herman Swanepoel. The cast consists of five male and six female cast members. This is a story with an African, American and Mexican twist. Enjoy the show. Once upon a time, there was a poor woodcutter who had three beautiful daughters. Out of these three daughters, the youngest was the most beautiful. The woodcutter went into the forest one day to chop down an oak tree when a horrible and huge bear wrenched the axe from his hands. Why are you cutting wood in my forest? You will pay for this with your life. I am sorry, Senor Rosa. I merely cut wood to feed my family. Otherwise, they will starve. Well, in that case, give me one of your daughters' hand in marriage, and you shall live. I accept your proposal, but let me return to my daughters so that I can explain the situation. Agreed. Father! I would rather die than marry that bear! I will marry the bear, father. Signor Ozo, I will marry you. You may kiss your brother. Just look. I'm an enchanted prince. By day one way, by night another. But you can do anything you want to do here, but on one condition, that you may never reveal to anyone that I am an enchanted prince. I promise! <laughs> Apart from you, dear husband, I have no one to talk to. I really miss my father and my sisters. Can I go visit them? Yes, of course. You may visit them, but please just don't reveal my secret. Dear wife, do you know what you have done? You have broken the curse too soon. Had we been married for a year and a day, we would have been together forever. But now, I will be taken back to the castle of faith and love and I will become a bear once more. What have I done?
Infa! What are you doing in this forest here? I'm looking for the castle of faith and love. I was hoping you could help me. I am sorry, but I do not know where this castle is. But follow this road to my father's house, and maybe he can help you. And take this nut if you find yourself in trouble. Break it. Thank you. Find yourself in trouble. Break it. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How can I help you, my child? Who are you? I'm the man. My husband was cursed to be a bear by day and a prince by night. I foolishly told my sisters about his secret and followed their stupid advice. Because I told them his secret, he was taken from me. Now I have to find the castle of faith and love to prove to him that I'm sorry. I heard the owls talking about a castle of faith and love. You know so much. Surely you must know where this castle is. You flatter me, my child, for I know not where it is. The one who might know is the sun. The sun. Thank you. told my sisters about his secret and I followed their stupid advice because I told them he was taken from me now I have to find the castle of faith and love to prove to him that I'm truly sorry and to tell him that I love him I know where the castle is I would show you but I'm not allowed to leave once I'm resting but you can go to my friend, Al Air. He can show you the way. Go to him. Tell him I sent you. <sighs> Thank you. Come closer, whoever it is. 
The sun sent me to you. Perhaps you can help me get to the castle of faith and love? Sure, sure. I'll take you right now. <laughs> Thank you, sir. see the prince, he is with his wife to be. The big fiesta for the wedding, and one does not disturb the witch. <laughs> well, if that's the case, senor, please allow me to come in and see the ball. I've traveled very, very far. Fine, you can come in, but don't let the witch see you because she will not be pleased to learn that there is an uninvited guest. Nenfa remembered the magic nuts the wizards had given her for emergencies. Nenfa broke the first nut and turned herself into a mouse, whereto the witch responded by turning herself into a cat. And who got you? Nenfa then broke the second nut and turned herself into a dog. The witch thought she would be clever and turned herself into a poisoned dog bone because no dog can resist a good bone. Not knowing that Nenfa was no ordinary girl. Nenfa! And so the curse was lifted and everyone rejoiced. The couple went back to her father's house and lived happily ever after.